Welcome back to Wegg's Garage. We've been having some issues with the cooling system on our 1964 Triumph TR4. After doing some research, I think we've come up with a really good plan to get this thing running cool again. So before we jump into what we're going to do to fix this, I'm going to have Dad explain how the cooling system is supposed to work. Stay tuned! had some problems with our Triumph TR4 overheating and I think Mark has come up with a solution to our problem but first we want to explain the cooling system on this car because it's a little bit different than other cars. <clears throat> Down here basic parts, radiator, water pump, bypass hose, thermostat is right here. The way Triumph designed these cars is that on a cold start the thermostat of course is closed and there was a bellows inside this housing that stopped the passage of water from the water pump from bypassing the engine and instead flowing through this pipe. Basically when the car is cold the engine starts, the water pump pumps, pulls water up around the cylinders out to this housing where the bellows is open and then back down into the pump again so it's a closed loop and the reason Triumph did that is to allow faster warm-ups on the engine so that once the temperature did reach roughly 160 180 degrees then the thermostat open ship the water to the radiator through the radiator and then back through the engine again what we think is going on and why we're overheating is that we don't think there's a bellows inside of here and when the car is up to operating temperature it's not stopping the flow of water through this hose so in other words too much water is going on a closed loop between the engine and the water pump and not enough is getting to the radiator now I think Mark has come up with a solution for this and I'll let him talk about that alright so our theory with uh, fixing the cooling system starts with uh, basically taking this housing off and finding out whether we have a old style bellows thermostat in there or a more modern thermostat. Uh, if it's the more modern one that may be the source of our problem. If it's an old style one uh, it may not be functioning properly. So we're going to take that out and find out what we've got. <laughs> As we suspected, this is a standard thermostat. Probably looks very familiar because lots of cars have them, uh, and it, that's what we have in here. So we didn't buy the bellows type, but the type that's supposed to be in there uh, looks like this. Just for reference, got this extra sleeve on the backside that closes off this port on the thermostat housing uh, and if you don't have that you're always going to be diverting water through this port uh, which reduces your cooling capacity so but we don't have a bellowed thermostat so what we're gonna do is actually block this port and we're gonna use a standard thermostat but drill a small hole in the the outside of this thing to allow the water to continue to circulate because that is important as dad was saying earlier all 
right, so we got our thermostat, 316th drill bit, and we're just gonna put a hole right in this flange right here. Somehow you need to block off this bypass either fully or partially and to do that you need a plug. Now I've seen a, a bunch of different ways to do this uh, and I think we just kind of lucked out here but this is actually a 3 8 inch copper pipe cap and it is like a perfect press fit into the water pump housing on our engine. Uh, your mileage may vary. I know there's some different variations here, but on this particular car, this thing fits in, uh, just taps in with a hammer, plugs it completely. Uh, the water will push against it so it won't uh, pop out or anything. Even if it did pop out, it couldn't really go anywhere. Uh, so that is going to do it for that. <music> So with everything put back together, we're going to take this thing out on the road and see if we fix the problem. <laughs>